Hello YouTube, my name is Cameron, I'm the director of Carbon Core Limited and I make drones. But today I'm in my office and I've got all the Lego for the first time in my life, all of it, in one room at the same time because it's been in storage for years. So we're going to have a look around my Lego collection. Now I can talk about all kinds of things. I read about things, I keep learning things, I did a degree once, I like electronics, um, physics, things to do with the universe, space-time, philosophical physics is my favourite. But what, all I'm going to do today is have a look at these Lego sets. This is one of my favourite old vintage Lego sets, the JCB. I recently bought more of the big wheels, the 125mm wheels. Now these red Lego sets and all these Lego sets over here were bought for me every Christmas and birthday between about five and ten years old. Some of these sets are about 30 years old I suppose, I don't know. <coughs> They're mostly complete, a few of them have the old piece missing but there is also all this Lego. This is what I call the spare Lego that's not been built into a kit. Now I was never very good at making my own Lego models, but I'm very much like following the graphical instructions with nothing to read. I even sorted out the basic Lego. All these Lego bricks, Lego, Lego, Lego. Now I've seen some videos on YouTube where people run a Lego shop on eBay and they've got a small warehouse with vast buckets of parts. Now I've never bought and sold Lego to try and get lots of any one type. But I've always liked the, the, the yellow diggers. I've always been a fan of yellow diggers. And in here... Some very old space Lego. I hope the camera's focusing. I'm sure it is. There's two Lego pirate ships. One there and one down there. It's all a bit dark in here. And there's a drone. I'm gonna make lots of videos on drones. I fly model aircraft, I've built gliders, powered aircraft, electric aircraft. There's an electric helicopter. Spare rotor head. This is a 90 size, it's actually electric, so it, it's named by the blade size, which is 700mm from the bolt to the tip. I'm going to turn off this autofocus thing. These Lego sets, I can remember most Christmases, putting my hands on the Lego set teleports me back to when I got it. I'd usually always build a Lego set the same day I got it, I make a point of it. I'm not sure what to do with them all. The Unimog is complete and working. Very interesting Lego set, that one. There's the flatbed back there, that works. Oh, Lego sets. It's an excellent thing, Lego. It's injection molded ABS, acetyl butostyrene. I think I need to check that. Doesn't really matter. And there's more Lego sets than what's here. There's more. There's these ones that I've never made. A vintage tractor. More space Lego. Arctic Lego. Arctic Rescue Unit 8660. Is there a wind-up drag racer? Small parts for it by the window. So this Lego is second-hand, but new to me. I've never made it before. Lots of little parts here. I've all sorted out figurine bits, bits with printing on, all the minifig weapons and spears and swords and shields. There's some vintage parts. 
Space Lego, Space Lego, White Lego, more Space Lego, battery boxes. <laughs> I remember my parents went through a phase of getting me secondhand Lego once. Mountains of it. Well, it seemed like mountains. What's in here? Once upon a time, all my Lego fitted inside this box. Let's have a look inside. What's in here now? Oh, it's excavator parts. And the white Lego. Because not in this collection right now, not built up for display, is the white Technic Space Shuttle. There's the Technic Control Center 2, which can build a dinosaur or a, a helicopter simulator. And um, what else is built? The blue Speckliff truck. Because I've been sorting out the Lego by building up the models. I need to finish building the arm on the back of this one. It's brilliant set so this air powered turntable. Um, 9 volt compressor. I didn't like it when Lego went to the newer motors. I went down to 6 volts. They weren't as powerful. They had um, smaller motors with gearboxes inside the Lego motor. So this here. This is my own model. This is the Mighty Digatron. I never had the red supercar with all suspension. I got these. I got a drop lot of eBay. It was a really good deal. These big wheels, the big vintage digger wheels in grey. This set is going to be special. It's going to be fully radio control with model aircraft electronics and proportional speed controllers. It's got very positive steering, which is good because Lego models often lack steering that works. But generally it's a toy. It's an excellent toy. It's a very well made toy that lasts decades. But it's got no practical application other than keeping me occupied or keeping whoever's occupied, making things out of Lego. There's another entire set to build. And if you like minifix, there's minifix here. Vintage 360. I normally keep all of these in the cabinets. I need more cabinets, at least two more. Four more would be excellent. Now I know Lego fades. The blue Lego and the grey Lego fades in UV lights. So I don't keep it here. I don't keep it by the window. Normally it's all in storage. It's all put away in the dark. That's why the white Lego's in this toolbox. Now really today, what I really wanted to talk about today in this YouTube video with all the Lego, is my modified 8043 360 excavator. Because what I've done, it's gone from four channel to six channel. What that means, instead of having three motors sharing six functions, and having a fourth motor to do three clutch changeovers, I've got seven motors doing six functions. So the tracks have a motor each at the front with an eight tooth pinion and a 64 tooth main. I've left the model largely unmodified on the outside. The arm has not been changed. The body shell has not been changed except for the receivers on the back. Now, as you can see, it's got two separate battery boxes and three receivers. And this has doubled the top speed to twice very slow. But what it means is you can drive it around and actually play with it.
So each linear actuator on the shoulder has its own motor, not the two on top, that's the wrist and elbow, and the motor on the right is the turntable. The two shoulder motors are underneath. The battery box is in low, so I've made this pretend exhaust stack so I can get the switch. I can get the switch anyway, but just wanted it to be more convenient. So the shoulder, let's look at the shoulder function. I'm blocking the receiver. Are they on? Receivers are on. So the shoulder function is now reasonably quick and it easily lifts the whole weight of the arm. But to properly play with this Lego set, I need to get some sand or salt or sugar or something that you can dig easily. I tried digging the red bricks, it hasn't been successful. So we'll have a little go at digging and see how it goes. The cab's blocking the track receiver again. And it's okay. Let's have a quick go at digging. So the controls are quite intuitive on this one. The only snag is if you overdrive the controls, it pinches the transmission. Like that. There's no clutch gears in this, so you just have to um, back off the controls before you hit the end of the travel. Come on! Wait, two bricks. No, that's not too bad. But that's what it's like with these bricks. You can't just um, scoop them up easily. Yeah, I was going for putting them in that shovel, but it doesn't really matter. So this set is uh, transformed. Seven motors instead of four. No clutches. All that Lego there has been taken out. All this here. And and this is what I'm really happy about. This is why the model works so much better now. All this Lego has been taken out. 35 gears. 35 gears. Just causing friction and wasting energy. And weighing it down. So all those will get filtered back into the spare Lego for me to build Diggertron. Now that's going to be interesting. I want to try and film um, a Lego build. So if you've got any questions or comments or want to subscribe or want to um, suggest something for me to build or want to ask me about a Lego set, how's it working? The barcode truck there, uh, it needs programming. It only ever came with one motor, it can take two. It's Arduino based. Can, can it be hacked? Can it be made to do more? There are more Lego sensors now. I never did Lego Mindstorms but I am currently doing Arduino with drones. So 8043 here. I haven't weighed it, but it's fairly heavy now. And um, it all works much more positively. If we get Diggertron made, and we get a few more models, we might have a Digger contest. And battle all the Diggers. So thank you for watching, please subscribe, it's Cameron at Carbon Core, and I'll try and make some more videos.